stuff. Let's dive in and take a look at a few things that are happening here in Northwest Arkansas. The racers are off on Expedition Ozark. So, Jackie, this is a five-day adventure yes. race, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to require athletes to bike, run, paddle, and rappel across 400 miles, including parts of Oklahoma, Missouri, and, of course, Arkansas. And this year is the inaugural year. Organizers expect this race to grow in the coming years. And here's where you come in. Each night this week, there's going to be a watch party at the Hub Bike Lounge in Bentonville. And then on Friday, you can celebrate the winning team as they come in at Lawrence Plaza. On Saturday, there's going to be an award ceremony festival with live music also happening at Lawrence Plaza. And all those events we just mentioned right there are free. If you remember, we talked about this on Friday because there was a flag ceremony happening on yeah. Friday to kind of celebrate and welcome uh, the athletes in uh, over the weekend. And so today is the day. Bum, bum, bum. Man, that's a lot. Of, it's like an intense race. Repelling, I think you said. That's right. Repelling. All through biking. the Ozarks. Yeah. That's insane, but I, I would it. love to see that in person. Now, are you a library enthusiast who is looking for a meaningful way to show appreciation for our public libraries? Well, if your answer is yes, and I hope that it is, you are in luck. Tomorrow is Library Giving Day. This is an annual event to encourage giving to public libraries across the nation. And of course, we've got some great ones right here in NWA and the River Valley as well. No matter where you live, head over to your local library or go online to donate to continue to support free public access to all of your library services. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to wait too long for some pro baseball in Northwest Arkansas this weekend. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals will open their season at Arvest Ballpark against the Midland Rockhounds. It's happening Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. First pitch on Thursday is at 7.05. And you're going to notice some changes this year at the park. The playing field has been replaced for the first time since it was initially installed. There's also going to be a new voice of the Naturals you'll hear during games. And they've added two new giant kid zone inflatables. I know those are always a hit with my kids. So you can get your tickets now to be there to the see the Naturals start their 2023 campaign. All right, also happening, the city of Fayetteville is hosting four bulky waste cleanups now uh, that we're in spring. This is your chance to dispose of those items that don't fit in the normal trash bin. Fayetteville residents are asked to bring a recent water bill to verify your residency. It'll take place this Saturday, April 8th, and then next Saturday, April 15th, the drop-off times will be 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., and different materials can be dropped off at two different locations. So you can find a full list of locations, plus what you cannot <laughs> drop off. <laughs> Yeah. over on our website. That's right, yes. And the Amazium is hosting their premier adults-only event. Get your tickets right now for UnGala. You can expect a night of excitement and interactive experiences happening Friday, April 21st. At the event, the Amazium will give grown-ups a chance for their inner children to come out and play. Proceeds, of course, from the UnGala support access programs and activities, as well as making it possible for one in five guests to experience the Amazium for free or at a reduced cost. So get your tickets now. That event's going to sell out. Jackie and I are going to be out there. It's always oh, yeah. a fun time. Mm -hmm. Those races are the highlight that you're seeing right there. So check that one out. 